Hey guys, uh, what's up? Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video. Please forgive me. I've been very, very busy. Uh, mind you, I'm only 15. I'm still in high school. Um, so it is very hard for me to make videos. But this is just going to be a short CD up collection update. Um, one of these I got two weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. And the other I got last night at the Shine Down Three Days Grace and POD concert which was amazing by the way I will post a review of that concert um, hopefully later today before I forget everything um, so the one I got two weeks ago of uh, the deluxe edition um, well I guess I should say I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this you know what I don't care fuck you if you hate me for it I don't care I don't mean to sound rude but it's true I honestly don't care if you hate me for this the deluxe edition of Wretched and Divine, The Story of the Wild Ones by Black Veil Brides. I honestly do love this album. There are really good songs on here. I honestly think it's better than their last album. It's definitely a step up from Set the World on Fire. Uh, this one and We Stitch These Wounds are my favorite albums by them. I mean, Set the World on Fire is not bad, but it's not as good as Wretched and Divine or We Stitch These Wounds. The second one, I am never going to get rid of this. Um, I got this at the concert. I'm going to tell you how much I paid for it. I paid 20 bucks for it. And you're going to think that's ridiculous. It's Shinedown's Amaryllis. Now you're going to think, well, why are you spending $20 on a Shinedown CD? Well, I'll tell you why. So, well, first off, it's the souvenir stand of a concert. It's going to be ridiculous expensive. But, another, but the reason it was $20 was because it was also a meet and greet with the band like a very short meet and greet and they signed the album or like the linear notes rather see you got uh... see if i can get this you got brent smith right here um, eric bass bass player uh... barry the drummer and then zach the guitarist i'm trying to do this without looking at the front of this so i'm using the webcam as a reference but I did get all four of their signatures in the linear notes of this album, so, and I did get to meet the band. Really nice guys. Um, for those of you who don't know and who do like Shine Down, Brent Smith cut his hair. I was honestly surprised, um, but they did po play a really great show. Um, played quite a few of their new songs off Amaryllis. A lot of songs from The Sound of Madness. Um, they did some snippets of songs. They did. Uh, cover of Leonard Skinner and Simple Man. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is supposed to be for another video. Alright, guys. Um, hopefully, I'm planning, going to try and go to Best Buy today. Pick up maybe two, three more CDs to catch up for the other weeks that I haven't uh, bought anything. So, um, yep. Uh, review on POD, Shine Down, and Three Days Grace concert from Friday, February 8th. Coming soon. See you guys later.